China is set to rule the world, they're doing this economically and they're doing so in a calculated method, is very methodical. I'm going to go through today why China is looking very great for themselves right now. The future of the country is looking very promising, though it is not short of its own problems. Let me take a look at this right here. This is the renminbi use surges in home of the US dollar. And what they're talking about is how a surge in how many investors and in other countries are trying to get in on the appreciation of the Chinese currency. So it says the value of the renminbi payments between the US and the rest of the world rose by 327% in April this year. So a major, major increase. I'll scroll down and I'll just show you the chart. You can see such a dramatic increase. It's happening over time here. And this is something that's been going on for months and months and years and years. And they are, as I said, doing so in a calculated method, doing so very slowly. And they know exactly what they're doing. It is, of course, not without their problems. As I've said, this is going to be some challenges along the way, as Jim Rogers talks about all the time. There's going to be problems along the way, but we know specifically that China is on the way to becoming the number one economy in the world. Look at what I wrote in my book. This is one chapter on China saying that China has purchased more U.S. debt than any other country, resulting in the largest deficit in the world. So really, when you think about who's the richest country, is it somebody who's in the most amount of debt or the biggest creditor? Now, you can decide for yourself. Now, China has been supporting the U.S. economy. They've been doing so for a while. They really hold them in the palm of their hand. Now, this is obviously going to be a big change in the future. We'll have to see how this goes. But you can see things have been changing and empires have been changing hands. And one thing I mentioned here is that as China steps away from the U.S. debt, the Federal Reserve will have to step in. That's pretty obvious. What happened here? How does this all work? I'll explain it very briefly, very simply. China allows companies to settle trade in RMB. This was in March of 2012. And basically what it's saying is China made another big step in the internationalization of its local currency and basically saying that the People's Bank of China allows trading entities all over the world to settle their trade in RMB. So there, of course, are restrictions. They're not just doing this overnight. It's something that's going to happen slowly and slowly. But this is a major change. What they're saying is we want to do trade. We want to open up our currency, open up our markets. But they can't just go from full out communism to full free market openness and just allow it to happen. They can't do that. It wouldn't make sense if they were to do that overnight. They would be big problems. But they're doing it. They're doing it slowly and they're doing it controlled. And this is working very, very well for them. Look at this right here. The value of the yuan hit the upward limit on the 1% trading band by the central bank 41 times last year. And then it's saying that they allow it basically to go up 1% in either direction. And that's sort of how they're able to keep it within a limit so that this doesn't go too hot. They don't want what happened back in the 90s with the other Asian countries with such a dramatic rise of hot money flowing into the economy. And that was obviously a big big disaster. And so here they are. It hit an all-time high, and that is something that's continuously happening. It hits all-time highs all the time because this currency, people are really seeing it as something very valuable in the future. Right here, China's yuan surpasses the euro as the second most used currency in trade finance. This marks an extremely important day when they can say that they are the second most used currency. So you have them surpassing the euro, which is obviously a major trade, and it's surpassing that. This is going to mark 
big changes for the future when you have China being the number one economy at some point in the near future you're going to have major major decline in the US market the euro when trade in Asia becomes bigger than trade between the US and the European countries this is when you know the dollar will be dead that's what I've warned about many times before it's a big point in my book where I make the fact that the US will no longer be that important that it's such an important part of the global economy when people stop using it as their reserve currency once it becomes comes something of a secondary currency and perhaps even further on down the road this is going to be such a disaster for the u.s and such a disaster all around the world and this is something that i've been warning about i hope you'll listen to that and i hope that you'll get on to the insiders because that's where i get a lot of other information like this i can get it out to you in short concise emails i hope you'll get on there and join the others and that is at the moneygps.com at the bottom you fill in your email address you'll get these emails you'll hear from me i'll talk to you soon